Alrighty, so the other day the old garage door, which is actually fairly new uh, garage door unit, um, made a big popping sound and uh, and some smoke came out and I was super worried, but uh, looking on the net it looks like it's a capacitor that needs to be replaced. This is my model, uh, in case you have the same overhead door, but a uh, model um, uh, opener. Um, I'm just going to walk you through how I am um, uh, making this change. <clears throat> because I, I didn't really see anybody who explained this on the net and I learned a couple of things at overhead garage doors so uh, it's a fairly easy thing to do you have to take a couple of panels off there's a first thing that comes off is actually the light uh, cover and then there's a panel that goes here and then um, man, a little out of breath walking up the stairs uh, up the uh, ladder what's up with that okay uh, then there's a panel here and uh, that comes off and then the capacitor guy looks like this here. It's got uh, two terminals with four prongs on it. And that was a little bit tricky to get off. It sits up under here. There's a, um, a bracket that holds it on. And it wasn't really that tricky. It was just I had to take the entire bracket off. I was hoping I could just sort of slide it out. But anyway, uh, no biggie there. And so the thing you need to know about this is if you're looking at this, um, uh, let's see if I can get to focus. Um, there's two terminals but four prongs and there's no real clear indication where the wires should go. So the bit of knowledge that I gathered over at the with the lovely people at Overhead Door, which are, they're super helpful people by the way. If I ever have to get another garage door, I'm definitely going to Overhead Door uh, down here in Clearwater, but um, on Daniel Street if anybody's looking. Um, the deal is there are going to be two yellow wires. There's one, and then the other one's back here. And then there's two orange wires. And the whole key is to make sure that the yellow ones go on one side and the orange ones, in this case, go on the other side, okay? And as long as you know that, you don't really need to worry too much about anything else. And um, they will tell you which one to get. All capacitors are not the same for all units and so forth, so you wanna Bring them your, your, you know, which model number uh, uh, for the motor, you know, for the, not the motor, but the whole unit, um, which model you're using, and uh, and they will take care of you. Make sure you get the right capacitor, and then you just swap it out. So I'll uh, let you know a little bit if this works, but I'm hoping that that was the reason for the big popping sound, and uh, then my I will hopefully save myself a couple of bucks by just doing this myself. Okay, just a little bit more on this. Uh, I ended up having to take the bottom panel out, actually, uh, which was just one screw over here. Uh, I got it turned around, I think, yeah, in the back there. But um, because getting the capacitor back in, I mean, I don't know why they couldn't have just given an extra inch of wire in here when they engineered this thing originally. I mean, maybe some engineers just quietly snickering to himself that he used the least amount of wire possible and to allow the unit to sit where it's supposed to sit. But I mean, any someone with little mouse fingers had to put these things, wires back on the terminals. Like it was hard. So uh, just make sure you don't, you know, don't strain yourself, you know, just take off this lower panel and, um, and then, um, you, you, it's much easier to get the capacitor, uh, the wires back onto the capacitor. So I just wanted to point that out because um, it was necessary for me anyway. All right, oh, whoops. here's something else to keep in mind, okay? So on the front here, there are two wires and those wires go to the light assembly that sits up here. But if you put this panel, whoops, upside down. If you put this panel, uh, this cover on now because at least on my unit anyway the wires are so short you can't get your hand in there from the front to put the wires back on the terminals for the light assembly right so you have to leave this off then one second put this on, attach the wires from the back, and then you're good to go. And then you put on the side panel and button everything down, okay? 
I just had to take the side panel off again because I don't know, for whatever reason I guess they're just being really really efficient or exact in their wiring and they probably assemble the thing you know I'm sure of course they assemble it on an assembly line and all the wires already measured and they probably you know on the blueprint that designed this thing you know when they're doing it on the computer it probably makes perfect sense to make the wire the exact length that it is but when you're actually assembling it uh, for maintenance purposes it's a huge pain in the tush you know so uh, anyway that's one little pitfall you want to watch out for when you're putting this thing back together